what is the uh, impact on the real economy of venture capital investments in Europe? Venture capital investment uh, had a very important impact in the last 15 years on the uh, real economy in Europe in terms of uh, total factor productivity, sales growth, employment growth and innovation rate. But most of the action is attributable to independent venture capital investment. So most of the positive effect are obtained when an independent venture capital investor invests in a, in a company. Other types of venture capital investor, which are quite uh, popular in the European economy, like corporate venture capital investor or uh, uh, in venture capital investor, uh, which are governmental owned, had uh, much less positive results on the uh, um, European economy. What are the differences between the US and Europe in attracting venture capital investments? One of the big differences is that the venture capital market in the U.S. is much more mature than the venture capital market in Europe. It's been around for a lot longer. Um, venture capital developed in the U.S. many, many decades ago, so there's a lot more experience and there are more funds and, and there's more money. European venture capital firms tend to invest uh, in many more deals and many more companies, which means that the investments are much, much smaller. And this is really a problem because the whole venture capital model works on making the investment, helping the company grow, reinvesting over multiple rounds over the life of the company, getting it to an exit, hopefully a, an IPO or a M&A, um, a merger and acquisition. And the problem is if the firm doesn't have enough money or enough money throughout its uh, growth phases, it's not going to have a successful exit and then the venture capital firm won't be successful. One other thing that we see um, not only in Europe but also in countries around the world is that venture capitalists, especially um, during this economic crisis, um, they have moved out to the later stages of investment. They are, uh, with some exceptions, but in general they are not investing in seed and early stage investment. So there's a huge financing gap in seed and early stage investing. And angel investors who are experienced entrepreneurs that have been successful, that therefore have some money, but not only money, more importantly they have expertise, they are increasingly investing in these startup companies, um, giving them money, but also giving them operational and strategic help, and also connecting them to people in their network and helping these companies grow. And they're not only investing as individuals, but they're also pooling their money together and investing through groups and through networks, creating syndicates. And so they're actually able to invest larger amounts of money almost in some cases to the size of what a VC would do if they were investing in seed in early stage. And so they're able to fill this financing gap. So they're playing an increasingly important role. And in fact, if you look at some of the data that exists, um, and if you look at some of the estimates of the size of the market, you can see that many people believe um, that angel investment um, is actually larger, as large or larger than venture capital investment in many of the more mature markets in Europe and in the US. What do you think should be done at the European level to attract more venture capital investments? Well, in Europe we have uh, a clear emergency in the C stage. Uh, independent venture capital investors uh, tended to neglect this stage. This, war, a fi this, this created a financing gap which was filled by uh, venture capital, uh, governmental owned venture capital investor, and this did not, did not work. So I think that the, 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 the urgency right now is to design a, a policy scheme which attracts smart private money, both at the institutional but above all at the individual level in the C stage. This is the uh, in my opinion, the most dramatic urgency for the European economy. Attract smart private money in the C stage to finance uh, companies which have promising technology, growth opportunity, but are very risky.